Should you be fired? Oh man, that is the question we're going to discuss today. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. It's about to go down. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. And uh, today we're going to talk about firing again. All right, I say again because last Friday we actually put out a video fire this person today and it blew up there's a ton of questions after seeing so many great comments i thought you know what let's come back and actually speak to a few of them all right before we get started i just want to invite you guys like if you love the conversation if you love the machining videos please hit the subscribe button if you like this video at the end hit the like button and if you have ideas for future content Put it down below in the comments. You might see it in a future vlog. So let's get to it. So on Friday's video, it was fire this person today. And I was speaking to programmers. What? Programmers. Why programmers, right? Because a programmer dictates the pace of a shop. A programmer dictates the culture of a shop. And if you have a programmer that's unwilling to think outside the box, learn new technologies, if you have a programmer that brings the shop down and forces the shop to run at 20% of its capabilities, therefore squeezing the profit out and they're not willing to change or adjust, then for the betterment of the entire company and culture, that person needs to be removed. Now, after the video, the comments started stacking, boom, 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 boom. And one topic actually stood out to me. And that is the comment that everything that you just explained, Titan, that's my boss. So why should I rise up if that person is keeping me in a box, if my boss is not willing to pay for new tools, not willing to pay for new technology? Should I be fired? The answer is no. You shouldn't be fired because you've recognized that there's a problem. But I'll give you advice. This trade is massive. Reputation is everything. Relationships is everything. And chances are, this is not gonna be the last place that you actually machine at. So here's the word. No matter what type of boss you work for, no matter what type of coworkers you work with, keep the faith, keep the hope. Don't compromise your workmanship. Always look to serve all that you work with. Always look for the extra projects. And always look to excel in every project that you're given. As a worker, as an employee, you have a personal brand. And it's important that you stay true to yourself. You know, there's a term, negativity breeds negativity, positivity breeds positivity, right? Look at yourself and think, what can you bring to the table to actually inspire others, to inspire your boss, to do what it takes? You know, here's something else that I'll say, and it's, it's very practical. Have good communication, you know. Don't always think that it's your boss that needs to come talk to you or it's your boss that needs to do everything. You never know what's going on in their lives and what they're going through, right? So if the opportunity arises, take it upon yourself to actually go to your boss and have conversations. Let them know like, hey, I'm learning here. I wanna see the team do good. And let them know about the different ideas you have, the different tools that you have, the processes. And don't just be like, hey, buy me this tool and buy me those fixtures and buy me this and buy me that. That doesn't work. Instead, come to the person and say, hey, this job is running and this is the time. I've done some studies and if we actually change this tool, we can save this amount of minutes per part, which will generate this amount of extra money which will generate this type of savings. So if we switch to this tool, we'll make this amount of money, which will be good for the company. Because you make them look good, you make the company more money, you make yourself look good, you build a relationship through that communication, and it's just a win-win all the way around. Now, you know, when thinking about my journey coming through different shops and stuff, I was always different, I was always aggressive, and not everybody accepted that. I'd work at huge companies and I would, I would drop runtime and I'd have perfect programs. And my boss would come up and say, Titan, that is an incredible program. You just went from 40 minutes down to 20 minutes and you're killing it. That's awesome. But when the night shift comes in, can you put it back at 40 minutes because it's safer? And I was like, I can actually double these feed rates and still put out a perfect part. But because the person supervising me had never experienced that type of productivity, 
They were timid and they were scared and they took the safe route. I worked for many companies and couldn't find my groove, but through all of it, I refused to drop my standard. From day one, I was all about workmanship, efficiency, and productivity, right? Putting out perfect parts that never came back because they met spec. And even though I bounced from company to company for a while, during that process, I built a reputation in the industry for the problems that I had solved. And therefore, my brand kept going higher. And then one day, when the doors opened for me to have my own shop, I had the reputation in place not only to get the work, but also to get the funding for the machines and the tools and the building needed to start my own company. And now we've been in business for 14 years. When I look back at all the things that happened and all the struggles that happened, do I wish that they didn't happen? No, because I understand that all of it gave me the experience to talk to you right now, to stand as a leader and run my shop, right? It's all about that experience. So no matter who you are, whether you're a CEO, a programmer, an operator, a setup person, you're in shipping, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you get the fact that life is a long process. It is a journey and you're at a certain level and we're all at different levels. So wherever you're at, make sure that you put the time in. Make sure that you lift up the other employees. Make sure that you're a pillar for that company. And even if your boss mistreats you, even if your boss doesn't pay you, continue to serve that company to the best of your ability. Life is about seasons and levels, and if you do the right thing, doors have a way of opening, right? You never know what coworker goes to another shop that needs somebody just like you. You just never know what's behind that closed door, right? So as stated in one of the comments, if your boss is the guy from my video, do not let it affect you. Keep rising to greatness, keep serving him, keep serving the company, keep serving all the employees, and keep learning as much as you can during the period that you're at that company. Hone in on defining the fine details, hone in on your workmanship, on your productivity, and truly work to be a pillar in that company. Because it's not about your boss, it's about the team, it's about the company, and it's about your future. When you do the right thing and you don't compromise, when you serve others, doors have a way of opening and you never know where you're gonna be a year from now. All right, so remember, life is long, you're right here, you're on a journey, don't let anybody bring you down, just go after it, keep rising to greatness, keep making it happen, get on the academy, grab as much information as you can, bank it all, and boom, take off, all right? You guys have a great day, I am out. Boom.